Morning. Um, this is a, a literally a quick 30 second video uh, to show you how to get how I get the wadding on the bottom of this big pot here. It's all glazed. I don't want to knock any of the glaze off. Some of it's quite thick and if you start manhandling it it's going to get chipped off. And I need to get wadding on the bottom of it. The wadding I use is um, tiles of uh, wadding that I roll out and then cut into little squares and that's from the old uh, wood firing days when um, when fly ash used to stick to the bottom of a pot stick it to the shelf and I still like to do the wadding now because it avoids uh, bat washing all of the shelves and scraping it off and these fall off at the end you just peel them off they just knock off at the end so I'll just show you how I get the wadding on the bottom of here what I've got on the table here is the is a, a bat I've put the pot on it, I've drawn around it, and then I've put the wadding on inside the circle. And uh, I've put, I'll just show you now, the last bit. This is wood glue. So there's a the circular wadding. And all I do then, very carefully, Making sure I don't knock the glaze, just pop it back in its place and leave it for 10 15 minutes for it to go off. And then, when this then goes in the kiln, I can reach in the kiln, place it in where I want it to go, and the wadding won't fall off. Because usually, if you're sticking a wadding on the bottom of it, you shuffle it about a bit, it falls off, it's a nightmare. And then there's more chance of knocking this really. Um, thick in places glaze here and I don't want it to peel off because it's cracked and that's what gives it its effect uh, I don't have an example of it here I'll get you an example okay here's an example I'll show it you um, you can see here how it tiles and it crawls and that's the sweep I get that's where the wadding was on these you can glue it onto it uh, so I don't want to display, uh, dislodge any of these uh, bits of glaze here that have cracked and then they carry on crawling. So that's what it will look like in a big sweep. It's quite thick on there. So that's just a tip of, uh, of what I use. Uh, I'm a joiner as well, so I'm just going off to work. So uh, to do a job this morning. That's why I'm in my joinery clothes, in case you're confused. Uh, we're not being covered in clay. But uh, that's just a tip. I'll leave it there. Back in the kiln this afternoon. Fire it tomorrow.